Man, it's crazy how quickly things can go wrong. July 26, 2022, this is how the aircraft ended up in Anchorage, Alaska. There were seven on board, but they all survived. It was this de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver, November 9776 Romeo is the tail number. And it happened at this Lake Hood seaplane base in Anchorage. Good thing there's so many people around here to watch and witness because they did get on scene and try to help these people out of this aircraft. It was about 10 feet from the shoreline. So there was good access for everyone to, to go ahead and help out. But you can see Anchorage Fire Department is also on scene and airport fire was on scene. And then here they are making access. And there were two pretty serious injuries from what was reported. But again, it's so important for... I always teach CPR classes because it's not the firefighters that are going to get there and save lives. A lot of times it's the bystanders, the people that are right here. They're going to get on scene quick and, you know, let's just go over CPR real quick. So you want to just don't worry about taking breaths like how, oh, we have to do mouth to mouth. We don't do that anymore. If you see somebody down, you're going to check, wake them up, make sure they're not sleeping and you're just going to go hard and fast on their chest. And uh, basically the the pace you want to go in, it's funny, but it's a song staying alive. So it'll be hot, bump, bump. Bump, staying alive, staying alive. You can see how it matches perfect. Two inches deep. Moving on back to the scene, you got uh, more people on scene. Ambulance came in to take all those people to the hospital. And then they went ahead and took care of any fuel spills um, in this area to kind of contain it. And then also worrying about taking this aircraft out. So you got the people out, which is good. You saved their lives. Now you have to worry about the aircraft. So they connected these floats. And then now they're getting this winch set up. And they're going to go ahead and float this thing to shore. And then go ahead and get this thing out of the water. thing is this beaver looks like such a cool aircraft to fly in. But not this one in particular. But many good Samaritans rushed to the scene. That's so good. And then good job to the fire and ambulance people who came in and helped out. Make sure everybody survived this crash. You can let me know in the comments what you think happened. Here's the tale. Um, because the pilot survived, he said that when he was interviewed that there was a strong crosswind that caused him his right wing to rise. But we'll find out what NTSB has to say in two years. Okay, see you guys next time.